is recorded to help my students to understand Project 1 in Computer Science 2. Two of these functions students needed to write is already given in my programming level video note, and students should watch that video to understand how to do it. Uh, please do not just try to follow the video's code to do it. You should watch the video first, understand it, then close it, rewrite everything by yourself. Make sure you write down the commands or the algorithm first before you fill in the code. So in this video, I just talk about how to write reverse function. Before students write a function, please read the precondition and the postcondition of the function. So this precondition says the front and the rear are pointed to the front and rear of a C string respectively, because it's a char point, point a, a sequence of chars uh, pointed to the first location. Now you did understand C string is a sequence of chars end with slash zero. And the post condition is this C string is reversed. So when we try to write this, uh, we can write a main function first is it write the code to test the reverse function. Okay, make sure that you test it on at least two strings. One string has even names, another string has odd names. Now you can um, test this. For example, you can say char. Um, String one, if you make it, uh, it's a uh, equal. Hi, hello. This is uh, uh other words, right? Word. Now this is still odd because it's ten plus one eleven. Okay. Or you can say char string two. If you want to make it readable, you can say string odd, then string even, equal, hello, word. But this time I put a, this notation here. Now I want to reverse it. So I will call reverse function. So first, reverse. Now, notice the reverse function have two arguments. First argument is a char point front pointed to the first char of the uh, C string. Now notice the C string is a char array. The C string name holds the char array address, which is the address of the first char. So in this case, so you will say str odd itself is the address. Then I want the last address. Last address is str odd, which is first address plus the string length of this string minus one. Minus one is because uh, the string has uh, index start from zero, right? So <clears throat> you say this address from the, this address to the last address is the length minus one. Okay. Now. Then I also reverse string even and a string even plus string length of string even minus one. I reverse both. Then I print out, see out after reverse. The string, then you print out a string even uh, add, uh, the, after reverse the first string is then you print out a string art then print out a new line then you also print out another message the second string is Then you print out the second string. Then print out the new line. Okay. So actually, before you write this function, you should already know how to use it. Notice this function. As I said, you have two argument. First argument is char point, ch uh, refer to the first element 
of this C3. So equivalent to the address of the first child of the C3. Then second child point refer to the last element in the C3, which is the address of the last element in the C3. Okay? So the address of the first element is just a C string array name, and the last element is the first address plus how many charts you have minus one, right? So for example, if you have two charts, the first address is zero, then the second address is one, so it's two minus one, okay? So uh, now we'd like us to write uh, the reverse. When we write a reverse, we need to basically keep swap the first char and the last char, second first char with second last char, third first char with third uh, last char. So in this case, we can say L9 as let us declare some local variable called tempo, which is a char, as long as the front is less than real. Then what I do, I let a tempo equal the front and the front equal real and the real equal tempo. Okay? Then I make my front plus plus and the real minus minus. Okay? So this equivalent say I will uh, swap the value pointed by front and the value pointed by real. Each time after swap, I move front forward, move real backwards. When I stop, when the front pass or equal real, I stop. So let us test the program. Compile successfully, then you say the word is one, the first one is hello word. Second one is hello word with this uh, notation. So we did it correct. Okay, if you have any questions, please give me an email.